Hi everyone. Today we're gonna look at a topic that many people has been wondering and cares about. That is, how do we know the last digit of Graham's number is seven? So Graham's number is a famous large number, and if you know about it, you will know that it's just a huge power tower of three, which means we can write it in this form. Which is three to the power three to the power three da 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 da. And there are many many threes in this tower, uh, which means we can also write it as three to the power n, or three to the three to the n, or three to the three to the three to the n, or even three to the three to the three to the three to the n, where n is a large number, or in other words, a large power of three. So, in order to find out the last digit of Graham's number, first we have to look at uh, some properties or pattern of power tower of three. So let's take a look at here. So three to the power of zero, we know that it equals to one, and three to the power of one is three. Three square is nine. Three cube. Is twenty seven, so the last digit is seven. So here are the, it's just the last digit of powers of three, and then three to the four, which is eighty one, so its last digit is one. Three to the fifth is two forty two hundred and forty three, so its last digit is three, and three to the six, we have a last digit of nine, and three to the power of seven, we have a last digit of seven. So here you can already see there's a pattern. So every four, every four number, um, you see the pattern repeats. So one three nine seven, and then one three nine seven, and this pattern keeps on going. So we can see that any power of three will give you the last digit of either one, three, nine, or seven. And then, as we can see here, all the numbers here are odd numbers. So all the last digit here are odd number. That means all power of three is an odd number. And since three n is an odd number, as you can see here, so three to the three to the n can only ends with the number three or seven. In other words. Three to the three to n, uh, any n. This number, is last digit has to be either three or seven. Why? Because you can see here. So we know that three n is odd. So three, to three to n. So here three n is odd. In other words, um, it could only be three. So we can see here three to an odd power. Is it can only have a last digit of three or seven, so three to an even power will give you either one or nine, as you can see here, and three to an odd power will always give you a last digit of three or seven. So in other words, we already we can already tell that Graham's number or any other big power towers of three will ends with a three or seven. So there's only two choices left for the last digit of Graham's number, and um, as you can see in this table, so when n is let's say even, so three to the power n will give you either one or nine as the last digit. When n is odd, let's say one three five seven, you will only get the last digit, either three or seven, and then so you can start to see a pattern here, and then what about three to three to n? So for three to three to n, you only get last digit of three or seven, and again there's a pattern over here. So let's say three to three to zero, the last digit is three. So you can see here. Three three zero is just three to the power one, which is three, and then three three one 
last digit 7, 332, last digit 3, 333, three, three, last digit 7. So if this again keeps on going forever. So now <laughs> the choices is again gonna go down. And then what about 3 to 3 to 3 to n? In this case, we can kind of assume that it's all gonna be 7. Let's see over here. So 3 to 3 to 3 to 0, which is equal to 3 to 3 to 1, last digit, 7, because this is just 27. And then 3 to 3 to 3 to 1, which is equal to 3 to 3 to 3, and we already know that this is around 7.6 trillion, and the last digit is 7. And for 3, 3, 3, 2, last digit, again is 7. 3, 3, 3, 3, last digit, 7. And if you want to check that yourself, you can go to this website, Wolfram Alver, to check the result yourself. And we can see that the pattern is going to be all 7. And we can look at this another table here. So when n is are these numbers, when um, the last two digits of n is this, then 3 to the power of n will end up with all 3s as its last digit. And when n are these numbers over here, and then 3 to the power of n will end up with all 7. And then it turns out that when the last two digit of n are these, then you get this as the last digit for 3 to the power of n. So when the, for example, when n is the last two digits of n is 03, 03, uh, 23, 43, 63, 83, the last digit of 3 to the power of n will be 7. Same for 07, 27, 47, 67, and 87. The last digits of 3 to the power of n will always be 7. So this is, could be for any large number of n also. So this, those are the last two digits of n. And when the last two digits of n are these numbers, you will get 3 at, as this last digit. But it turns out that um, when um, 3 to 3 to 3, so when there are 4 3s in, in, in a power tower, everything, uh, all the last two digits of these numbers will be these. So we can eliminate all of these here. And that's why when you get a power tower 3 that is more than 4 high, the last digit is always 7. So as you can see here, some examples. So these two, so 3 to 3 to 2, it has a last digit of 3. So 83. So 83, let's see where is 83. So 83 is here. In other words, so the last two digits is when the last two digit is 83, you get when 3 to the power of that, the last digit is always 7. So this is one of the example here. So everything will becomes 7 when the power of 3 is large enough. And by this, by um, looking at these tables, it turns out that a large power of 3, the last digits, is very predictable. And by using a computer program, we can actually find the last 500 digits of Graham's number. Or in other words, any last 500 digits for any power tower that has more than 500 threes. In other words, um, any tower with more than 500 threes, the last 10 digits will always be 2, 
0.4641953487. And this is the same for Graham's number. So the last 10 digits of Graham's number is this. However, although the last digits are very predictable, we'll never know the first digits of Graham's number. It's not because it's uncomputable. Actually, it is computable. But the thing is, it will take a very, very, very long time to find out the first few digits of Graham's number. And to do that, we have to find out all the digits of Graham's number. And we know that Graham's number technically has about Graham's number of digits. And we know that there's no way um, we can wait that long. I mean, the universe is going to end way before that. So there we have it. That's how we know the last digit of Graham's number. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.